Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the basement because I am playing with these inverters which are now making noises. Um, I've just been playing with the Bitcoin miner over here and discharging the batteries a little bit and um, that's because I have purchased some cloud boxes there we are so that I'm able to monitor these devices from my phone um, it, it's a neat little box they're actually mounted here it, it's just a tiny little thing that plugs into the box and then it's on Wi-Fi it has an access point mode and it has a cloud mode I've only been trying the access point mode but I ran into some problem I bought two because I have two of these inverters uh, I have this one over here which is the eSmart 3 and it's the 150 volt that means that you can put panels on there and they can go all the way up to 150 volts everything is good over here um, this one is the one that I'm using and it should also be the eSmart 3 but it's the 130 volt um, unit which th this one came first and then this one came afterwards and I'm not able to use this box on there I have also been trying to communicate with the box with with different USB serial cables and have had no luck whatsoever so I think that either this box is too old to uh, communicate with that RS485 port that is in the bottom there I haven't been able to connect anything that will work on this one but this one that just popped up and we can just see that so here is my phone and I am connected to this my green solar thingy here and if we go over there that's this one and I can kind of see the battery voltage there it's 52.3 volts oh this isn't that great um, yeah you get some numbers but as I am really using that one and that one is well I have connected the box to it it's right over there and if I try to connect to this there is power on it and if I try to connect to it it will also connect but I will just never get any data out of it it's just blank as soon as I connect to this one well I get data but this one is the one that I'm using right now this one is just on the standby waiting for my lithium ion bank which made me decide that I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one instead of that one right now this one is, is connected to all my gel batteries all of these there is 24 gel batteries and this eSmart 3 was actually specifically configured to work with lithium ion batteries the S14 that I am building but I have decided to to move ahead and you can kind of configure that here parameters and there is parameters for the batteries bad example it's um, it, it does lose connection so yes we're gonna quit it quit and we'll go over here and check we are still connected yes so we'll, we'll go and connect to it again and we can use this AP mode and it gets data from it and we can see the parameters here that's what it's configured to right now because I've changed it has some presets up here it has user defined flooded sealed and gel batteries and I do believe that my batteries are gel batteries so that is what we're going with and um, so I have reconfigured this one to replace the other one and I, I took a picture of the settings before I I picked this gel battery we could actually just see that and this was what it was when configured to before I changed it so not much of a difference just a little bit so right now I have kind of a bad setup I needed to to put some voltage onto this so I connected it with a couple of crocodile leads the minus is over here on a battery that battery is minus and 
and I connected the plus down here so uh, just just to get 48 volts onto that unit so that it would start up so that I could try this well that's that's actually this one that is communicating right now I'm gonna swap places I'm gonna take this one down and I'm gonna swap places with it and bring it over there and probably do some other changes but I need to go and shut off some stuff because I don't want to work with this with this much power on it shame because it's really bringing in some power right now over 1700 watts and the battery is already up I brought the battery down to 15.1 volt um, using the Bitcoin miner over here and yeah now it's bringing in good power again but I really want to be able to monitor it so we're gonna we're gonna swap it around it doesn't have to take all day yep we are getting a bit of Sun actually totally without clouds right now so in here in the garage is where I can cut off the solar panels there are four strings up there we're just gonna cut all of them so I do also have this cut off which is also well that cuts off all the solar panels at once and I will cut power to the inverter as well turn it off down there that turned off this unit I'm gonna take the fuse over here that cuts power down to the inverter and then I'm gonna disconnect the battery banks one at a time there I'm gonna go get a meter and make sure that I am um, well I definitely don't have power up to this unit otherwise that would be on but I want a meter okay these um, cloud thinkies I can remove those there is no power on that that one I'm gonna disconnect the one on the battery and take that off take this cloud one away as well and this one there that is off uh, the lighting down here is not as great as it used to be I've had some I had some lights down here but uh, they were movie lights and I had to deliver them back we were doing a film so this one is not connected to anything so I can take that down so I have loosened two screws up here uh, which is it's kind of hanging there I fastened this I made an extra hole in this unit because otherwise it would be flapping in and out so now I should be able to lift it up And this idiot choose screws up here that are too big. Hmm. I got that unit down. I need to remove the, the cover here uh, so that I can disconnect the cables on this unit. We have that out. So even though these are two very similar units, they look just alike. If we look at the side here, we can see, well, I'm missing a hand to point uh, with, but we can see that the bottom one says further down that it's a 130 volt DC unit, whereas this one says that it's a 150 watt unit. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't know if that has anything to do with me not being able to communicate with it but uh, I'm not able to communicate with it okay so the new box is up I'm not sure that I have it completely straight here uh, yeah whatever I, I've even improved some of the cables have become a bit thicker um, that one was pretty thin but yeah never mind it was working so it's gonna be working again so I am gonna cover this up and um, yeah we're gonna test it out okay this is actually a little bit exciting when you turn on a charge controller like this 
it's important to turn on the batteries first. So I'm going to be turning on the battery banks and we're just going to take one at a time and make sure that nothing bad happens. And nothing. Yeah, it made a spark over here. That's not great. But it did turn on. So we do have power. And of course it does not see anything. It's see battery voltage. So let's see if that goes up. When we... Oh, it actually went down. Okay, we are up and running. I'll go and turn on the solar panels at the garage again. Okay, that is on. So when I flip this switch, I should get solar to the system again. Let's see what happens. Mm, did we do anything? Yeah, we are now charging up here. There we are, we can see the solar panels and that's bringing in current. Uh, right now it's bringing eight point. Uh, 430 watts in better. Oh, that's the load. And nothing going out through the load. Gel battery, awesome. Temperature 22 degrees. Time, I'm not sure if that's right. Is that right? Yeah, that's actually right. Hmm. Must get that from. Date will look right as well. Power from the solar panels coming in. Oh, voltage, and that's the amps, and that's the wattage. Uh, we have, it has seen 14 watt hours already. And battery voltage. This is awesome. So another thing that I changed while I had everything disconnected is that the charge controller it has solar panels in. It has battery out and it has a load. So you can control this load through this charge controller. For example, if the battery voltage gets under some point, it will kick off the load. So now I can turn on the inverter down here. Let's see if that works. Now it has power down here, and we can turn the inverter on. There, inverter is on. Power from the inverter goes up and it powers the Shelly. So let's power the Shelly. There. That should light up in just a second or two. There. It has power. It will do what it does. And it's through that that I control my mining thinky up here. But um, I connected this load so that uh, the charge controller is now in charge <laughs> of the load as well. So it will also tell me how much I have put through the load and stuff like that. Um, so quite an improvement and I will be able, let's see if I can connect to it through my phone. We have one of the thinkies, so we can connect to that. Hmm, a printer is online. So I have connected to that. So let's open the, that's the picture. Uh, that's probably the old, so let's shut this down. Exit. Yes. And let's close it. Go back. Open it again. Let's see what it comes up with. And we're gonna use AP mode. Come on. Number. Yes, we have numbers. I can now see what everything is doing. Awesome. So that's the Cloudbox M1 for the for the eSmart 3. And apparently only the one that handles 150 volts. The other one, not as much. So I made an improvement. I have the old box here. I probably probably just gonna put that up right next to it but I'll probably go and buy another one, which can also handle these uh, rather smart. It means that I can occupy the sofa right up here and still keep track of what my solar charge controller is doing, which is awesome, especially when I'm running the mining rig. I don't wanna, mm, that's just for fun, and I don't wanna deplete the batteries and start ruining the batteries too much they're not they're not that great anyway but 
Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And the chat controller is um, making noises. I think that's a happy noise. Have a nice day. Bye bye.